starting to feel a lot like Christmas. That's not what I'm feeling. <laughs> Two. Santa. Santa, it's time to see the doctor. Santa, you're right. <laughs> I think we have a problem. The Pokemon? John, you know you did everything you could for Harvey. At least take comfort in the fact that he died peacefully. You mean on a floor in the Bronx? <laughs> Gee, Santa dying on Christmas Eve. That's so... So... What's that word? No, that's not it. It's kind of like when an odd thing happens at a really weird time. <laughs> No, more like a bizarre coincidence. <laughs> Dr. Becker, you're missing the big picture. A man died here today. And not just any man, it was Santa. <laughs> John, that was the coroner's office. I would, but the last time I blew my parents off on Christmas to go to the morgue, they got really upset. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dr. Becker. Merry Christmas, John. Hey, I heard you made the food. It's really amazing. Good. That'll make it more private. <laughs> the party's almost over. Let's open our gifts. Oh, okay. You first. Okay. <laughs> oh, a shawl. Oh, it's beautiful. I... Party. Oh. Good night, guys. Merry Christmas. Dr. Becker, I really need your help. Dr. Becker, oh, I know you need to buy a new car. And, well, you're in luck because I have a special talent for matching people with the cars they should be driving. So, Linda, I think if Linda, I... Linda, what have I told you about coming in here and talking to me? I want to apologize for the delay in having our staff meeting. <laughs> now. I've checked last month's invoices, and it appears that Mr. Slavatsky... You, know, you have to be very careful, Margaret. That's a very serious accusation. It's not, I don't want any part of it. Ditto. Reg, you're in big trouble. Word right on the street is... Anyway, Bob's advice, stay out of that hardware store. I didn't say a word to you. She didn't have to. There was a look in her eyes. What? Is it my imagination, or are you not as close to the floor as usual? <laughs> All right. God. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Some lawyer you are. I don't even know why I call this radio station. Are you okay? Oh, I'm just really pissed off. So you're okay. No, I mean, okay, wait, Linda, come here, sit down for a second, will you? The other day, Reggie pulled a stunt on me, and I want to get even with him. I, I, you know, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to think about that, you know, tonight, and... <laughs> oh, Bob! <laughs> and Dr. Becker, about yeah. yesterday... Yeah, look, Linda, it's over. I really don't want to talk about it. Well, actually, I just wanted to thank you. It turns out you did me a favor. Whatever. Huh. <laughs> hey, Dr. Becker, can I leave a little early? I've got a date. Dr. Becker, there's yeah. a kid in your office. He says you're his godfather. Oh, hey, you're kidding. I know, you're not even Italian. <laughs> Someone asked you to be a godfather? How many people did he ask before he got to you? His name is Adam, and he's at Columbia. <laughs> hey, Becker. <laughs> Very amusing. Coffee to go, please. <laughs> he, he didn't even know your name? <laughs> Welcome back to the old neighborhood. But things have really changed. Oh, I'll say. In fact, the building I grew up in, at 180 of the Montgomery Street, used to be so nice. Now it's just an eyesore covered in graffiti. Well, Professor, have a seat, and I'll make you some fresh coffee. Good morning. You're late. Oh, my God! Mark! Don't worry, Vinny, we'll get you in shape. Hey, uh, thanks a lot, Dr. Burr. You think that's a bad way to die? Now, how about this? You're in the woods. No, no, no. What, what, before that. Yeah, I heard him, too. He, he said he was settled. Well, what am I supposed to do? Oh, uh, can't you 
Can't you enjoy anything? Well, I'll just get your coat before I change my mind. Wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> See, I told you settling was the right thing to do.